Today, uh, it's one number four. Oh, oh my god. Social channels in the description box. That's Lily and Alfie barking. Hold on one second. Ew. What do you want to say? Yeah, this is probably like a really boring conversation. Like, great chat, Rachel. Be right back. What was I saying? What, 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 what? Um, I use it in everything. Just everything, like porridge, uh, coffee. And that's pretty much it, actually. <laughs> so no, I don't use it in everything, but yeah. Even though we're not really doing anything other than just sitting and eating food, but I think that's a great time anyway. <laughs> I was literally just dripping with blood. Sounds dead dramatic, but like, it kind of was. <laughs> Salty chocolate balls. Hello. Why you wanna let me go now? Nah, nah. Are you saying that to change your mind? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting the video in a little bit of a odd position, I suppose, to be sat in right now. I don't think I've ever sat like this. I'm like kind of sinking down, so I'm not looking like too down at the camera. Um, but I was just sat at my desk in my makeup room. And I thought, I feel like picking my camera up and vlogging. So that is what I'm going to do. Hence the bad setup at the moment, which I will sort out soon. So right now, we are in November. I'm filming this in the first week of November. Can you even believe that we're in November already? How quick did October go? I don't know if any of you guys follow me on social media, but if you do, you will have seen that October was just like, a crazy crazy month it was full of halloween makeovers that i just did um for me as like little projects and things which i really enjoyed doing if you haven't seen any of them and you're interested i will have all the links to my social channels in the description box that's lily and alfie barking hold on one second hey guys i'm back um it was just the post uh anyway what was i saying I think I was saying it was really crazy in October and if you want to see the Halloween things that I did then you can go ahead and see them on my social channels below. So today is actually bonfire night, it's the 5th of November and I absolutely adore bonfire night. I think actually as a dog owner now with two dogs that are absolutely terrified of fireworks I don't really like the idea of people setting off fireworks in the back gardens and things like that. I think if you're not an owner of a pet that's really, really frightened or like a child that's really scared and things, you won't necessarily have that point of view because I don't think I used to have before I had pets. I just used to see it as like fun and things and I used to get excited if we ever got fireworks. I mean, we've not done that since I was like extremely small. We always used to go to like a display and things instead. But yeah, I don't know. I like seeing them, but I don't like the impact that they have, put it that way. Um, so anyway, I love Bonfire Night, but the main reason why I love Bonfire Night is for the food and for the smell in the air. I love that Bonfire Night smell where you can smell people's like fires burning and things and the log burners on. It just smells so nice and Christmassy. Yes, the Christmas word. We're going there this time. I've actually been wrapping Christmas presents already. I started last night and I couldn't have been happier. It's actually very late in the year for me to be wrapping presents now. I'm usually kind of organised by now, so it feels a bit weird to me to just be doing it now. I know some of you will be absolutely outraged by that. I know some of my friends are practically disowning me right now because I'm starting Christmas shopping and Christmas wrapping. But do you know what? I don't care. I don't care, it makes me happy. I do not care. Anyway, bonfire night. So today I was actually meant to be at my friend's wedding party that she couldn't have through COVID. And I'm absolutely gutted because I can't be there. Me and my mum were meant to go. Um, but my mum is waiting for some treatments and things. So we have to be very careful about like mixing in crowded areas. And pretty soon we will all be isolating as a family for like, a couple of weeks to a few weeks so um yeah we're just staying home we've got my auntie coming today as usual because it's friday which is coffee and cake friday if you know you know um and then we're gonna have pie and peas and parking and i got some like little chocolate orange tarts and things like that so i'm really excited for it 
Um, even though we're not really doing anything other than just sitting and eating food, but I think that's a great time anyway. So anyway, I've actually got a few exciting things to share with you today um, in terms of beauty packages, which have been very, very kindly gifted to me, but we'll get into that in a bit. First of all, I just need to have a quick tidy around before my auntie comes and light the candles so everything's smelling nice and put the fairy lights on so we've got a nice atmosphere in the house. So I'm gonna go do that now, I'm gonna make a drink and then I will come back and share these with you. <laughs> this new thing lately instead of having sugar or stevia in my coffee I have honey now and I go through this so quick um I use it in everything just everything like porridge uh coffee <laughs> that's pretty much it actually <laughs> so no, I don't use it in everything but yeah I must drink a lot of coffee because I go through a lot of honey and I don't actually like instant coffee I'm such a coffee snob I prefer it when it's like a nice fresh coffee but I will be having one of those when my auntie comes so I think I can just about cope with an instant coffee for now while I show you guys these beauty boxes um but yeah I'm looking forward to a nice one later and also the only thing I tend to drink now is oat milk I don't this one's nice but I like the one that's the barista one but you can't get hold of it in all of the Tesco's and the one that is closest to me I just can't get it in and it's so frustrating I saw the new one today that's the pea protein one which is called wonder which I've seen on tv oh that's my stomach rumbling um so I picked that one up and I'm going to try that but yeah it's pea protein so it's going to be very different to the oat I don't think I've had pea protein milk before but I've had pea protein before yeah we'll see anyway I thought I'd just quickly show you these are the little chocolate orange tart things that I picked up these are from Mr Kipling and they look delicious it's a light pastry case with a layer of chocolate and orange flavored mousse chocolate flavored icing and festive sugar sprinkles and then I also picked up some parking I really like this one from the Yorkshire Baking Company I've tried quite a few different parkings and I was very impressed by that one in fact I pretty much ate a full loaf by myself last time I bought it so I'm really glad that my auntie's coming and that there are other people here to eat it before I demolished the lot. So right, let's get to it and I will show you these really nice, new, exciting beauty packages. Right, the first one is a big, oh, by the way, this is the milk. I forgot it was in here. Wonder. I actually meant to pass it to dad in the studio to try it in my coffee, but not today because I'm a bit concerned that if I don't like it, it's just gonna ruin my coffee and then I'll be really upset with myself because like coffee and cake Friday, you don't wanna mess your coffee up, do you? You want it to be perfect. So anyway, yeah, this is probably like a really boring conversation. Like great chat, Rachel, be right back. Okay guys, are you ready? Look at this, look how beautiful it is. Look how big it is. Let me put it, I'm gonna put it. Let me put it on here. Uh, right, next thing. Can you see the two little puppies? <laughs> what are you two doing? Huh? Anyway, if you are wondering why there are lots of little carpets in the hallway and there are bits of floorboards peeking through, that's because the radiator exploded. Literally, it, the top blew off it, like the, the valve thing. I was um, getting ready to do like my first Oh, let me just focus. Sorry guys, I don't know what happened, but my camera went a bit funny and it wouldn't focus. Um, yeah, if you're wondering why the hallway looks like that, 
I was getting ready to do one of my um, Halloween makeovers. Sorry, my hair is really annoying me today. Um, it was actually the first one that I'd done, so it was The Bride of Frankenstein. I can't remember if I've spoken about this on a vlog because it feels familiar, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I went into the bathroom, which is just like down the hallway there, and I was rinsing a beauty blender out, ready to um, like start doing the makeup and things. And I heard this really loud bang, and all of a sudden I could hear this kind of noise. So I went into the hallway and there was water, it was like cascading down from the ceiling, it was crazy. I thought at first that the boiler had burst in the loft and that it was coming out of the loft because the water was like literally coming down from the ceiling with such force, I didn't know what to do. I like to think that I'd be really cool, calm and collected in like any chaotic situation, but I'm really not. I literally ran backwards and forwards about four times. Like, what do I do? What do I do? Do I get dad? Do I call someone? What do I do? Where's Alfie? Panicking like mad. And then I thought, right, stop cock. I need to turn that off. And then I thought, okay, I know where it is, but I don't know how to turn it off. So even if I get to it, there's no point because I don't know what I'm doing. So anyway, I ran outside to the studio to get dad and he came running in and like turned all the water off and things. And it turned out it was the valve on the radiator that had, had somehow like built up so much pressure that it just blew. It literally blew the top off the valve or like blew the valve off, whatever. And the water went up with so much force and hit the ceiling that it just came down like a waterfall and completely flooded the hallway. So this happened on the morning of the like Bride of Frankenstein makeover that I was doing and like the shoot day and things. So it was extremely stressful. So any videos that you see of me from the Bride of Frankenstein makeup, I literally had so many mental breakdowns that day. I just kept crying all the time and I was so stressed. I was freezing cold because we didn't have any heating or any water. So it was really, really hard. And to make matters worse, the hallway actually flooded again later on that day when we tried to put the water back on after we drained the radiator. So it happened twice over. Um, completely ruined the carpets, completely soaked the floorboards, they will all need replacing as well. Um, so we recently had somebody in to come and change like all the radiators and all the boiler. Uh, all the boiler. One boiler. Change the boiler. Um, so yeah, that was a very, very hectic day. Um, it's funny because when you look back on pictures of yourself and things, you just remember how you felt at that time and I just remember that day being such a hard slog and being so like emotionally draining. I, I just cried so many times, I was so upset. <laughs> but anyway, it all got done in the end and everything's getting sorted now, so yeah. Right, so the first thing that I want to show you is the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. So I'm going to pick you up and I will actually just show you while it's on the desk because it's much easier. So here is the absolutely beautiful Glossy Box Advent Calendar. It's this absolutely stunning design this year. It's um like a beautiful marble effect with pinks and golds and like a, it almost looks like rose quartz or something to me. And then when you open it up, this is what it looks like inside. There are a set of drawers in here and inside each of the drawers are little uh, boxes, which are all numbered. So this will take you right up to um, Christmas day. Number four, so big, I'm so excited to see what's inside. It's an absolutely gorgeous, oh, gorgeous calendar. I just think it's so special and I feel so, so lucky to have been gifted this. I've never had an advent calendar from Glossy Box in the past and I'm just so looking forward to seeing what's inside. Um, this is the like little advent calendar booklet. Um, I won't actually flick through this because this does have like the full spoiler of each of the products inside. Um, so it says on here, don't want to ruin the surprise, save this until the 25th. So I won't go through it because I did ask on an Instagram poll if anybody, ooh, still turning. <laughs> I did ask on an Instagram poll if anybody wanted to see um, a sneak peek and most people were like, don't you dare, <laughs> just don't do it. In fact, everybody said, don't, don't give us a spoiler, we don't want to see. So uh, I won't, I won't give you a spoiler, I won't spoil the surprise for you. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful calendar. Anything I talk about in this video, I'm gonna pop um, 
the information for in the description box but if you want to get hold of this gorgeous advent calendar and you want it at a discounted price and you are not already a subscriber to glossy box you can actually subscribe to their monthly glossy box using my code and that will give you your first box for just 10 pounds and then automatically because you are a subscriber you will get the advent calendar for i think it's like 10 pounds less or something let me just look that up so the calendar is 105 pounds um but if you are a subscriber you will get the calendar for 85 pounds which is an amazing saving so the whole thing is actually worth uh 465 pounds so if you can get it for 85 pounds that is an absolutely amazing bargain so yes use my code if you want to become a subscriber and you can get your first glossy box subscription box for just 10 pounds and the code that you need for that is divers i'll pop it on the screen for you right now so you can see the correct spelling because so many people spell my name wrong i don't know why i don't think it's a complicated one myself but i get so many different names i get divers i get drivers uh davies i get dickens why it's divers <laughs> so anyway use divers and you will get a discount on your glossy box subscription box um and the other couple of boxes i want to show you is one glossy box for november and also the look fantastic beauty box for november it's just been like a really happy week of gorgeous beauty pr deliveries um in fact let me just close this door over because lily and alfie keep barking and I don't want to keep getting distracted. Right guys, so the first beauty box that I want to share with you is the November Glossy Box, which I have for right here. So let me just open it up and tell you about the box. So this is the Beauty Desires Edition, and this is the little card that comes inside to tell you all about the box and the products inside. Uh, this month, we're all about embracing elegant, timeless beauty, and our Beauty Desires Glossy Box is sure to give your chilly November days a sophisticated touch. Let us tempt you with soft, silk-like textures that caress your, caress your skin and irresistibly rich makeup must-haves that'll enhance... <laughs> what is wrong with me today? Let me just start that last uh, little paragraph again. Let us tempt you with soft, silk-like textures that caress your skin and irresistibly rich makeup must-haves that'll enhance your inner radiance. So there are some really nice products in the box that I'm excited to try. I had a little look inside the box, of course, um, but I haven't used anything yet. So this is what you will see when you open the box. And like, obviously the first thing that we see is chocolate. So let's have a look at these. I haven't actually seen these before. These are new from Thornton's and they are called Pearls. So they're like little pieces of chocolate. Let's open them because like, no better time than now. But there are two in here. One is a Hazelnut Delight and one is Salted Caramel Sensation. Obviously, I'm not going to have the hazelnut one because I have a nut allergy and that wouldn't be a good idea. But I'm definitely going to try <laughs> the salted caramel sensation, which is this one here. They kind of remind me of like little fortune cookies or something. I like the packaging. So let's open it up and have a look. I love it when beauty boxes send us little like treats that we can actually like eat. It makes me feel like Christmas is right around the corner when we get things like this. Oh, so they actually look like tiny little pearls. Mmm. I think my dad would like them. He loves anything salted caramel. Might have to get some of those for him to try. Right, now we've had a little snack break. Um, let's get into the actual box. So the first thing that uh, got my attention was this tiny, cute little elf eyeshadow palette. Hopefully you can see that. These colours are beautiful. They are absolutely perfect for like autumn, winter months. Um, I don't know if we can get into this. Packaging. Always stops me in my tracks. <laughs> I can never get into anything. I think I just must be really weak at opening things. But the irritating thing is I can never be bothered to get up and go and get any scissors or anything like that. So I'd rather just sit and struggle for like 10 minutes right we're in we are in let me get rid of that so there we go 
can see them much better now. They are really, really pretty shades. Hmm, let's have a look. They feel nice. They actually feel like the, the ones that are more like foiled, more textured, feel so, so buttery and nice. I could have swatched them in like a easier place. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I haven't got my phone sticking up. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, they feel really nice. I will have to try them on my eyes before I can give you a verdict on like what I actually think of them. We'll just pretend I'm not wiping it off on my black leggings right now while I'm sat here. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is an eyeshadow quad from e.l.f. which is a really nice addition to the box. Uh, next in the box is a perfume. Ooh, I love it when we get perfumes in boxes. How nice is that packaging? It looks really sleek. I'm sorry, I don't know if you can even see it very well. There you go. So it's like got the foiled silver writing on there. And it says scan me on here, so it must tell you a little bit more about the product. I'm not going to scan it right this moment, but I will at some point. The box as well. I know I'm going on about the packaging a lot, but it feels really nice. It feels like a very nice quality. Um, so this is a, mole a molecular skin scent combines woody iso e super with touches of sweet amber for a lightweight and effortless glow that comes alive on skin. Oh, so I really like the sound of that. They're all kind of scents that I love. Let's try a little bit. Mmm, that's nice. Yeah, that's definitely my kind of scent. That's lovely. I want to try it properly, but I do have another perfume on at the moment. I'm wearing um, Jimmy Choo's Fever today, so I don't want to like mix it too much, but that smells really, really nice. It's one of those that like are quite addictive <laughs> to keep smelling, like you want to keep going back and sniffing at them. Um, like this. That smells really nice. I'm very happy with that. I will enjoy using that as well. Another nice addition to the box. Uh, next is a e-cooking cleansing gel. And this one is full size. If you've had Glossy Box before, all look fantastic. I'm sure that you will have had a product from e-cooking in the past. Um, they are, I find that they are really gentle on my skin. They don't irritate my skin at all. If you can hear Lily and Alfie barking in the background, I'm so sorry. So sorry. But I just cannot keep stopping this video today. <laughs> I think it's my dad who's on his way out to pick um, my mum up from work, so that's why they're barking. So anyway, this is a cleansing gel which contains ingredients such as organic sunflower oil that are moisturising and nourishing, and you'll wonder why this cleansing gel wasn't already a part of your skincare routine. Always love a nice cleanser to try, so I'm excited to try that too. Something else in the box that looks very interesting is from Human and, is it Human and Kind? Yeah, Human and Kind and it's a moisturising hand scrub, um, skincare with a conscience and it's all natural, yeah, naturally derived, which is nice. Uh, and the scent is elderflower and raspberry. So I think this is perfect actually for these colder winter months. I find that my hands are getting really dried out from um, obviously using the, uh, I can't even think of my words today, using the antibacterial gels and things, the hand sanitizers, um, and also just from the weather getting colder and having the heating on and things like that. So that'll come in really handy. And then there is also a full size beauty blender sponge which is in here. It looks very pretty. It kind of gives me a Kylie Cosmetics vibe with the baby pink. Um, can't give you a verdict on this until I've used it on my face because some of them feel lovely and soft but then feel quite hard when you get them onto your face. So I need to try this on my face. Maybe we'll do like a little bit of a testing day tomorrow with some of these products um, and then I can make the vlog a little bit longer. Oh my god, I've just found something else in the box I didn't know was there. One of the little bubble mints from um, Extra. Do you remember these guys? We got these in the glossy box a little while ago, maybe a few months ago, and they're really, really nice. They're chewing gum, basically, but they're really nice and fresh. Uh, so yeah, like maybe tomorrow we could do some makeup or something or try some of these products out. I won't have time to do that today because my auntie will be here shortly. 
Um, but yeah, maybe that'd be a nice idea for tomorrow because I don't want this vlog to be like super short or like really boring, just me sat talking at you. It's nice to do something that's a bit more interesting. So maybe we'll do that. And also, it might be a good idea because I have this foundation, which I recently picked up. This is the new one from Maybelline um, and it's the Superstay Active Wear, which is up to 30 hours wear. And I know you probably wouldn't want to wear your foundation for like 30 hours anyway. Um, but I wore this for a heck of a long time over Halloween and it lasted really, really well and didn't really need retouching, didn't look bad, didn't pull apart on my skin. But, and here's the big but, I mixed it with my usual MAC Studio Fix Fluid. So I need to do like a proper tester of it and use it on its own to see what I think of it. So maybe we could do that tomorrow and use that beauty blender to put it on. We'll see. Uh, and then, 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 I have the Look Fantastic Beauty Box as well for November, which is this beautiful blue colour. It's so nice. I love this. What is this called? Is it like Heritage Blue or something like that? Um, I know a few people who have got like their homes decorated in this kind of colour and it's so nice. Um, and the little snippet in the box this time, there's always like a nice little quote inside the lid of the box. It says, in the darkness be the light. Cute. Here is the little, well actually, no this doesn't come with every beauty box. Um, it's usually a little magazine, but this is a scan thing this time, so I think everything must be online. So let's scan it in before. So usually it's like a little magazine like this and you can just flick through it and see what's inside the box. Uh, here we go. So editor's note. As I sat down to write this editor's note, I couldn't help but think of how far we've come over the last 12 months. This is the first magazine I've written from the office, and with the gradual easing of lockdown and such, the world is returning to some resemblance of normality. Cue the build-up to the festive period. Whether it's a full face of makeup or simply sticking to your skincare routine, there's a whole plethora of ways we can make ourselves feel good in the build up to this festive season. I think we can all start by taking some time for ourselves and focus not so much on how far we've come, but the amazing experiences and unpredictability that has got us here. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, reflection is important and it allows us just sometimes to let go and have a little fun. Fun is a silent theme in this month's box. All of the lights. There's so much buzz in the BB team for the upcoming boxes and launches and we hope you feel our complete excitement and positive energy through this box. I hope you enjoy this month's box as much as I do. Tom. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that such a nice little snippet? I think that's a lovely intro to the box. Here we go. This is what <laughs> this is what the inside of the box looks like this month. It's very like lavendery and calming and ethereal isn't it um so the first thing that i'm going to pull out is the moisturizing foot mask from le mini macaron made in korea and it's a foot mask with lavender oh it is lavender i thought it might have been this is really nice i love <laughs> I say it's really nice. I don't know, I haven't tried it. It looks really nice. I usually really, really love anything that's to do with like Korean skincare. I think they're absolutely incredible at just making these beautiful formulas that make your skin feel amazing. So I'm really looking forward to trying these. And I think our feet get neglected all the time. So it's nice to have a little bit of a pamper and look after our feet as well. So I'm excited to try that. That's a lovely addition. Uh, then we have a cream from Comfort Zone, which is Re-Night Cream, and it's the Nourishing Vitamin Cream for Nighttime. So this is a face cream with goji berry, vitamin E, hyaluronic acid, and macadamia oil for an intensive nighttime antioxidant action. Skin will appear generated and nourished. So that's another beautiful product. I really like how this box is kind of more focused on skincare because Feel like my skin really needs that this month but then i love the element of glossy box as well where you get to try more makeup it's nice to have both if you can afford to subscribe to both definitely treat yourself to both because you just have like the perfect top up for your skincare and your makeup bag every single month um next in the box is an item from i don't know how you pronounce this brand i don't know if it's prey or pry it's p-r-a-i and it's the ageless throat and decolletage cream 
which is this. We have had this in a beauty box before. I'm sure it was this exact product. Um, if it is, it's a really beautiful product and it makes your skin feel so nice and nourished and moisturised. So I'm really looking forward to trying that or using that again if it is the same product. Uh, and then we have a item from Balance Me and it's the BHA Exfoliating Concentrate, which is a salicylic acid rich concentrate, which is a leave on chemical exfoliant created to help gently remove dead skin cells, reduce blemishes, target enlarged pores, and improve hydration to reveal a softer, brighter, more youthful looking complexion. So that is that one. That looks really nice too. Um, anything that's like a, a chemical exfoliant rather than an abrasive one I feel like I need to try and get into more because I still do like using the ones that have like a bit of a scrub in them I'm not talking like St Ives kind of apricot scrub vibes here <laughs> not that kind of thing but I do still like the ones that have a bit of a scrub in them but I know that the ones that are chemical are better for your skin they're less abrasive um, next in the box is this teeny, tiny, very cute Diego Della Palma um, eyebrow pencil, I think this is. Yeah, so this is a water resistant eyebrow pencil. It looks actually quite dark. It looks, I'm sure it's like a brownie, brownie slaty colour. Um, it's going to be too dark for my brows, but my mum might be able to use it for hers. Yeah, it's definitely too dark for me. It definitely looks more like grey. I don't know if you can even see it on there. Um, but that is definitely way too dark for me. But it's a nice pencil anyway, and it's water resistant. And actually, guys, I'm just rubbing over it here with my finger, and it's not really budging. It's staying put. It's only just coming off now, a little bit. I think that's actually quite good. If that was in my colour, I would definitely enjoy using that. And then, the last thing in the box that I'm really, really excited about is this Molten Brown Relaxing Ylang Ylang Bath and Shower Gel. I love Molten Brown products so, so, so much. I just think they are so luxurious. They remind me of Christmas. I always used to get one of the spicy, is it spicy? Spicy Pink Peppercorn Bath and Shower Gels um, at Christmas time, and I absolutely love them. They are pricier, but I think they're so worth it as a treat. Oh, it just smells like like a really posh hotel. Like when you go in the bathroom in a posh hotel, I mean, and you get like the little freebies and things to use. It smells like the kind of stuff that comes in there. Love the purple as well. Matches the theme of the box very, very nicely. So I'm looking forward to trying that too. Uh, so that actually brings me to the end of the beauty box unboxing part of this vlog. I hope it wasn't too much of like a rush through of products. I'm just conscious of time today and I want to fit as much into this vlog as I can. That's not a great look, is it? Uh, <laughs> so let's try and use some of these products together over the next couple of days. I think that will be a very nice idea. We can have like a pamper, we can do some makeup, we can have a girly time. Sounds good to me. I don't know how much I will be able to vlog today, but I'll keep picking my camera up whenever I can because it's just nice to have memories, isn't it? I, people ask like, why do you vlog just like everyday life and things like, what's the point? But it's the memories. It's nice to just look back on things and see what you were doing and like see how you looked and how you were and like, I don't know. I just like it. It's just nice looking back and even better if you're doing something like actually exciting with your day and going out and about and doing things. It's just nice to look back on. So I'm going to stop rambling because I really need to get sorted now <laughs> and get everything ready for my auntie arriving. She'll be here very, very soon. So I hope you enjoyed the beauty boxes. I do have a discount code for the Look Fantastic beauty box as well if you are looking to subscribe to that. That is Rachel BB. I'll put that across on the screen as well for you so you get the correct spelling of that. And that will get you 20% off your first subscription box when you become a subscriber. Um, again, the boxes are gorgeous. They're so worth it. And it's so, so nice to have that monthly treat. I look forward to them every single month. And like every month without fail, there are plenty of products in there that I can either use or gift to somebody that I know will get better use out of them than me. So it's never like a lose-lose situation. You are always in a win-win. Anyway, guys, 
I'm gonna go and get sorted, so I will see you in a bit. Why you wanna let me go, na na now? Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know, na na now. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack Someone help me catch my breath again How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? Possible How could we let love go? the next day we had a really nice evening last night we had our pie and peas as you would have seen in the little uh, like montage bit I also had some parking and I also had a chocolate orange tart so I was really really naughty yesterday and had lots of treats but I thoroughly enjoyed myself so right now I'm just getting ready to go shopping with my mum but I thought I would show you my eyeshadow from today because I actually used where did I put it? Oh yeah, here it is. I actually used a little e.l.f. eyeshadow quad that came in the glossy box for this month and I really like it. Hopefully you can see the colours. They are really, really beautiful. They were really easy to build up. Um, I did use like a little bit of a base to put the like shimmer eyeshadows on. The one that I used was this one from Model Co. This is the liquid metal eyeshadow and it just works really, really nicely as a base. The colour of it is this really, really subtle like champagne gold so it doesn't take anything away from the colours that you're actually using. Um, it doesn't like distort them or really change them which is great. And I also used the beauty blender that came in the glossy box too. Um, this is great. Look how big it goes like compared to my face. <laughs> I really really like it. It's quite squashy. It's not as squishy as some of the other beauty blenders that I've used um, But I liked it. I would definitely reuse it. Um, my favorite one at the minute is actually the one from Eco Tools That's the one that I've been using non-stop recently But I thought this one was really really good. So I will definitely be reusing it So if you're thinking of um, buying a beauty blender and you're worried about getting one that's like too hard or doesn't go like squashy enough to be able to use it this one you'd be absolutely fine with i am sure so i'm gonna get ready now and we're gonna pop to tesco for the weekly food shop um it looks absolutely horrendous outside it's so windy and cold so i'm absolutely dreading it but the sooner we get there the sooner we can get back and then i can get ready sort everything out and get ready to watch strictly later because i love strictly saturdays <laughs> so i will see you guys in a bit Don't do your mother like that. <laughs> you little weirdo. Oh. Can you break steady, please? Did it break? Can you manage that clutch a bit better? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's really naughty. Oh no. That's the haunted pub. Ooh, Ooh. this is the haunted pub. It is actually Ooh. haunted. It is haunted. So if anybody is watching this video who is from Barnsley, I'm sure you'll know about Mill of the Black Monk. Mm. You need to get to bed earlier. 
I went to bed at quarter past <laughs> ten last night. <laughs> ten fifteen. I slept for nine hours, forty-five minutes. That's a long time. Isn't it? Mm. Just for you. Hi guys, so I'm now back from Tesco and I've just been unpacking all the shopping. I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear to be honest. I feel a bit like, like I'm getting a cold or something. I have done a Covid test and it's not Covid. I've done a few tests this week because I've been feeling a little bit rough but thankfully it's nothing like that. So I feel like I'm looking a bit of a mess now, like my makeup's come off with my mask that I've been wearing, my eyes were streaming the whole way around the supermarket and Got an injury in the supermarket as well. I've never had such a bad paper cut in all my life. I was looking at some magazines with my mum and I just went to put one back and it literally sliced my finger. You would not believe how big the cut is on my finger and it was literally just dripping with blood. So we had to clean it up, get some sanitizer on it and then go and get some plasters in the supermarket. Sounds dead dramatic, but like it kind of was. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to quickly show you what I got from the supermarket um, because I didn't actually get that much. I just got a couple of bits just to put me on for a bit. Um, and then I'm actually going to go... Let me try and prep you up on here. Is that okay for now? Look how pale I look. I look so white. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, then I'm going to go and get tidied up and I need to do a little bit of editing. And then it's time for Strictly, which I'm so excited for. So the first things that I got were these little um, like instant latte kind of things from Nescafe. I have this one, which is the toffee nut latte, which is so, so nice. It tastes amazing. Um, I obviously have the nut allergy, but I can eat these, because, uh, drink these because it's just a flavour. And because I really like the toffee nut latte one, I thought I would try the chocolate and caramelised hazelnut latte as well. So I'm looking forward to trying those. I think that I'm actually going to make this in a minute um, to have while I'm editing. And then I also picked a bottle up of the Jammy Red Rue wine from Yellowtail. This is my absolute favourite one at the moment. I like the Jam Shed ones as well. I think it's the Malbec one, which is my favourite. But this one is just, oh, it's just so delicious. And I was like, don't buy any wine. Do I buy any wine? Do I want any wine? And then it was on offer for club card holders and I thought, that's my sign. I'm going to get the wine. Uh, then I also got one more Oatly, uh, no, Alpro. Oh, not Oatly. I do like the Oatly one though. Uh, Alpro Barista Milk, Oat Milk. I got some more of the Nescafe Gold Blend Coffee, which I'm not, oh, I'm not a massive fan of, but I'll drink it if it's there. It's just... It's okay for through the day. In fact, this one is the smooth and silky one and it says velvety crema and the intensity is six. So I might like this one better than the last one that I had. The last one was the granules. Then, um, right, I'll show you those in a minute. I also got some more lemons and some more ginger because I love having hot lemon, honey and ginger. Yesterday, when I couldn't remember what else I used honey in, it's hot lemon, honey and ginger. I go through a lot of it. Um, and I also use it in hot toddies as well with whiskey. Um, but just for now, I'm not drinking the whiskey ones. I'm just having hot lemon, honey and ginger. It's so soothing if you feel unwell. Then I got some more toasty loaf because I think this is just really nice if you just fancy a nice slice of white bread oh, with butter on it. It's so nice. I have that with like honey on it, jam, bovril. Sometimes they get really, really big cravings for just jam on toast or bovril on toast, so that comes in handy. Uh, some more nail polish remover because I need to get this off my nails and I've nearly run out. And then for dinner tonight, I'm going to have one of the Linda McCartney pulled pork burgers, which is obviously vegan. And I thought I would put some coleslaw on with it and also some beechwood smoked cheese. I thought that'd be really, really nice. Um, and then just have like a salad and things and I'm going to make that ready for when I'm watching Strictly. It's so sad because I actually actually just like really love Strictly. Like my Saturday is geared around waiting for Strictly to come on. <laughs> so I'm going to finish packing this away now and then I'm going to do some editing, make my toffee nut latte. Um, and yeah, just then have a chilled evening hopefully. 
and watch Strictly. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still here at the end, I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, as always, I'll leave anything that I think you might want to check out in the description box below. Uh, yeah, so that's it guys. I hope you have a nice weekend, whatever you are up to, and I will see you very soon for the next one. Bye. Why you wanna let me go, nah, nah, now? Are you saying that to change your mind?